Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo, and today we're going to take a look at the very latest update when it comes down to Android 14 Beta 2, and this one is Beta 2.1, just because this one was updated about two weeks ago. It looks as if there was quite a few bug issues that was causing a lot of problems, and they wanted to push off an update, and so this is what the update looks like. Uh, it ends in UPB2 230407. 019. Now you do have to go through, search for this little update, and then after you update the phone, what you're able to do is you can head inside of feedback. Now here's the thing, one of the biggest problems and bugs with this one was for anybody who was a part of the beta program and wanted to get out of it. Now you are able to do that, and it just happened to be that with this latest update when it came down to Android 14 Beta 2, it actually took that ability away. So with this update, if you needed to leave the program for any reason whatsoever, you do have to do this update. Then after the update is complete, you need to go inside of your lock screen, you wanna delete it, and then you can reset it back up if you would like, but after you do that, then you're able to actually leave. So for some reason you have to change your lock screen in order for you to get out of this and you have to go to this latest update. So we're gonna go inside of the release notes because I just updated this one not too long ago. It was released today as of the recording of this video. And so you can see May 25th. So that means that this video will be up on May 26th in the morning. Here's the build number. As you scroll on down, this one is gonna still keep at least the Pixel 7 devices at that May security patch. But if you had the Pixel 6 series, pretty much any of those three Pixel 6s on Verizon, this update does bring you that May 1st patch because last time you guys were still on that April patch. So taking a look at this one, this is the biggest one. That's kind of the, the thing that they fixed that we just got done talking about. So again, this is Android 14 beta 2.1 uh, and it was released today. So the, this minor update to Android 14 beta 2 includes the following fixes. So it fixed an issue that prevented users from completing device setup after opting a device running. Uh, on an Android 14 beta build out of the beta program. Basically, they're trying to say they're trying to get out of the beta program and they couldn't. Uh, and so now, in order for you to get this done, you want to make sure that you get this update done either through over the air or through downloading. And you can take a look at it through this app that I'm using here. Uh, you want to reset your PIN, password, or, or pattern, whatever you're using, by the device. And you want to go inside of the settings, security and privacy, screen lock. Um, you can use the same PIN and pattern if you want to that you're using previously. Now you're able to opt out of it. So it's actually kind of funny. Again, you just want to go inside of this application that we're taking a look at here. Uh, and then this is where you'd be able to opt out of it. There's an FAQ section for you. Now, everything else that was fixed is going to be fixed more issues that could cause the battery percentage to display as 0% regardless of the actual charge level of the device. Fixed issues that sometimes caused auto or audio disruptions with the device's speakers. Fixed system stability issues that could cause apps or device to freeze or crash. Fixed an issue with always on display mode. Uh, fixed an issue that sometimes caused the Google Photos app to crash when trying to open certain photos. Fixed an issue where while navigation or gesture navigation was enabled for a device, putting a video in picture in picture mode in the Google TV app made the picture in picture window disappear. Fixed an issue that caused the Google Contacts app to crash when managing account settings and then fixed an issue where the icon for the Google Messages app did not display for notifications when always on display mode was enabled. So, I mean, there's really not too much going on with this one here, but these are some big enough bugs, especially the one that you can't opt out of that they did have to fix. And again, this is almost kind of like beta one because when they were launched beta one, the beta 1.1 came out about a week later after that. Um, I haven't really had too many issues. The only issue that I've ever had for this entire beta so far was after the first beta, my fingerprint sensor did not work. So I was not able to unlock it with my thumb, but it was very fast with the face re recognition. Other than that, they did fix it, and I've never ran into any other problems with this device, which, you know, I guess is pretty lucky, but, you know, there's a lot of times that you don't run into a bunch of problems when it comes down to betas. I run all of them with Samsung. Again, I don't run into problems with those either. So, yeah, this was really the only time that I've ever done it was beta 1 where I had a problem. So, if you are running on Android 14 beta currently, uh, this is where you'd be able to go through, get that update done because there's a few fixes that could, you know, 
maybe benefit you. Again, it's going to be this little feedback app right here. This is the one that you're able to read. This is what you get uh, when you join up into the beta program. And then you can read all of these little releases and you can read about Android 14, all that really good stuff. Now, if you guys want to see everything that is new so far with Android 14, I do have a couple videos below the video, you know, inside of the description. I can link those. You're able to take a look at everything that is differing from Android 13 to Android 14 at every single level of this beta program. I've made a video for it, so then this way you can see every single thing that is brand new. So this video is pretty short. I just want to cut to the chase, show you guys what has changed. I've already got this thing updated. I'm not running in, in, into any problems or issues. Uh, one of the things I was kind of hoping that maybe they could have added with this one was with the screen recording, how you can do partial screen recording, which is pretty cool, uh, but I didn't see that just yet. So this is what it looks like currently. Hopefully with the next beta update, maybe beta 3, we'll see an area where we have uh, a separation or partial screen. So then this way, maybe it's only going to be one area of the of the display. So this way you don't have to see time and a whole bunch of other things. Also, if notifications come through, it'll also cancel all of those out too. So if you are uh, you know recording something and you're doing it professionally or you want to put on YouTube or Twitch, whatever the case, uh, and you don't want to have ads and, and, and notifications and other parts of the screen to be shown, you're able to have it super, super clean. Now, because I know I'm going to get this question at some point in this video, I am going to show you this is so far the time schedule and it's never really changed. You can see that we're supposed to get beta one, beta two. Here's beta three in June. Beta four will be July. Final launch is going to be the end of July, early, you know, probably August. And also a lot of people ask about when is Samsung going to get it? My guess is going to be maybe sometime middle or end of July early or mid August. So that's when Samsung will get it once, you know, Google gets it completely finished on their side of things. But yeah, so right here we had uh, beta one and then beta 1.1 and 1.2, I believe. Here's beta two and now we're at 2.1. And then soon sometime in June, we'll have the beta three. So hopefully you guys appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.